Hello, this is Brian Wells from the Department of Quantitative Health Sciences at the Cleveland Clinic, and I'm going to demonstrate uh, how to create a, an online clinical risk calculator from a competing risk regression uh, using our online tool, the Risk Calculator Constructor, which is available at makercalc.ccf.org. The uh, model fit and regression equation that we're going to use for this uh, competing risk regression will be from the software package R. So the first thing that I need to do in R is load uh, the appropriate libraries. Here I have uh, installed the package for Cleve Clinic QHS, which contains the pred.eq function I demonstrated in a previous video. Uh, that function is also available uh, by itself on our website, and I've also sourced it down here. Um, that's the function that takes a regression equation and pulls out, uh, it takes a model fit and pulls out the regression equation for the online calculator. The package um, QHS CR NOMO it was, was designed to help make nomograms uh, on competing risk uh, regressions. Uh, that's based on the CMPRSK package that's also available for download from uh, the R website. And then I loaded the library RMS here, which has uh, the Cox uh, function or CPH function in it. That function is also available in the design package. Uh, either one will work for our purposes today. Here's uh, the data set that I'll be using for our example today. Uh, the outcome, we have two outcomes, myocardial infarction and mortality. So the outcome of interest is MI, and mortality is our sole uh, potential competing risk. So in other words, folks who die before they have a chance to have an MI, uh, that will be considered a competing risk. I've got the time uh, both to death and time to MI uh, right there. So the first thing that we need to do is uh, code a new outcome variable, which I'll label outcome mi.crr, which will be uh, the mi outcome with this new uh, competing risk uh, reflected. So basically, um, what we will do is recode patients who had mortality before they had a chance to develop an mi. So zero is censoring, one is the outcome of interest, and I'll make a new category for this new outcome variable, which will be two, and represent the competing risk. So here's the R code to recode, or to create this new variable. Uh, I've just used an if-else statement, where if uh, mortality equals one and MI equals zero, make it a two, otherwise it's just the original MI outcome variable. Here's our data set with this new outcome variable. And then uh, for the time to event for the competing risk, in this case, we can just use the time to MI, which is always at least as short as, as, short as or shorter uh, than the time to death. In order to fit the competing risk regression, we first uh, fix, fit a Cox model, which I realize is running off the page. I'll correct that. So here's the CPH model fit for outcome, uh, this new competing risk outcome that we created equal to one, the predictor variables that we're interested in, and our data set. And then what we do is we use a function called crr.fit, which is again in that QHS CR NOMO package, and that will convert this Cox model to a competing risk model. Here's the code for the crr.fit. Just refer to the um, original Cox model and then provide the category for censoring, the category for failure, and then anything else will be uh, a competing risk. The pred.eq function works on either Cox or competing risk regression models. So I've used that function here with a follow-up time uh, of five years where we want the prediction. It provides the regression equation here and I'll show once again how to put that into the uh, online risk calculator. So here's the makercalc.ccf.org webpage. I'll go ahead and log in. And once inside, we'll click on create a new calculator. So I've uh, titled this new calculator MI risk using competing risk of death. I've created an outcome here for five-year MI risk, and we want to this time select a Cox regression model. In a previous video, um, 
I showed that we selected a Cox failure. And the difference here is that the Cox models by default uh, predict survival, whereas the competing risk regression com predicts the, the risk of the event of interest. However, the underlying model and equation is, is essentially the same. The competing risk simply just adjusts uh, the, the coefficients from the Cox model. So from R, I just copy this uh, regression equation. And I paste that into the risk calculator constructor. We also don't want to forget the base, which I also copy from R and paste into the risk calculator constructor next to the outcome. And then uh, just click on Save Changes and Construct the Calculator. The calculator automatically recognized uh, the predictor variables in our equation, uh, which are shown in green the first time. Looks like it did OK. I'll just go ahead and click Save again. And now if I scroll down to the bottom of the screen, it'll show us what our calculator, approximation of what our calculator looks like along with the URL to the actual calculator. I've plugged in a hypothetical patient here who's 55 years old, who smokes, has a cholesterol of 200, and it spits out our five-year MI risk based on the competing risk uh, regression. Once again, I'd like to take a second to thank the rest of our risk calculator constructor team, led by Dr. Michael Catan and the wonderful programming of Greg Haggerty. Uh, please feel free to contact us if you have questions. And please check out our online uh, risk calculators that we've created on our website, which are available at rcalc.ccf.org. Thank you.